Hi everyone, it's Becky here. So I just finished another uh, art journal spread right over here. So it took me four days to fill up this spread. And today in this video, I will show you how I sketched my afternoon snack and this panorama view outside my reading room window. So this snack sketch took me about 15 minutes and this panorama took me just 12 minutes. So these days I'm pretty busy working on my thesis, finishing it up. Um, I'm planning to finish my thesis by the end of August in early September. There's quite a lot of writing. I have about 120 pages to write and then I also have a number of like appendix pages to finish too. So that's a lot of typing and then I'm not a really fast typer. So that's a lot of work. So I do spend about two hours in the morning every day typing my thesis. And in the afternoon, I spend about one hour or two practicing piano. And um, yeah, that really need music to kind of really pass the time every day to find balance. And also by art journaling. I spend about um, average 30 minutes every day with my art journal, sometimes if I had more time, about one hour. And um, it took me average four days these days to finish a, a two page spread. If I don't do art journal, I feel like that this part of my life is, is kind of lost. So yes, I really love recording my life in, in art journal. It's a really special way to preserve life's moments. So today I will show you how I sketch this bottle of cleaner. Okay, so here is my current art journal spread. I think I'm gonna sketch the, uh, the bottle of cleaner right here. In this space here. So right now I'm just visualizing how big where I wanna draw. So I already visualized the space above for the spray head. So I'm kind of starting drawing the body first knowing that I have enough space up there. So now drawing the neck and the marks on there and then gradually building up the spray head, the inside and the outside, the tiny cone there, the handle, adding layers for the shapes so they look three dimensional and adding the inner me mechanics of the spray head. Add a bit of hatching. Drawing the labels nice and round. Streaks. So the plastic actually has quite a lot of streaks on the surface. Now I'm drawing the inner liquid line, the label behind. Quickly scribbling the label details and all the words on there. Adding some vertical hatching to uh, suggest the light and shadow inside the bottle. Short and long, gentle pen lines. And now I'm ready to add watercolors. So just wet the area first with clear water. Just painting the uh, liquid inside first, starting with very light green. Second layer, wet on wet, a medium green. And leaving some space from the uh, first layer there, just to uh, get a feel of the shine. Third layer, wet on wet, an even darker shade of green. Now there's like a transition of three levels of greens, which is more interesting. And remember to leave those white highlight streaks white. And now just painting the plastic, starting lightly with a tint of blue and then adding a darker shade of uh, 
blue mixed with purple. And remember to leave those spots uh, white. Plastic can be like really shiny. And darken the liquid part a bit more with a darker tone of green. And painting the uh, plastic spray head. Again, I mix my own gray by mixing blue and purple together. color of the label is a light turquoise color and the uh, the shade area is around the left hand side the left hand side is away from the light source so there's a bit of shade by mixing dark blue and purple and finally adding a shadow this kind of reflective of the green liquid and the next day the weather is really great. The night before, we had a huge thunderstorm um, in Vancouver. And now the weather is so sunny, but still pretty windy. And I'm having a little walk around my community, and now I'm ready to do some grocery shopping. The clouds today are really beautiful after the thunderstorm. Okay, so I bought two little pieces of cheesecake from the supermarket and I think I'm gonna have one with coffee. Okay, and here is my cup of coffee with cheesecake. I'm just gonna do a quick sketch before I start eating. Always taking some time in the beginning to visualize the size and placement on the white space first before I start drawing. So I just started drawing the strawberry there on top of the cheesecake and then the top, kind of ir irregular oval shape because it's cream. And then this solid cheese part and the bottom cake part. Uh, the tiny bit of texture for the cream is melted using tiny little broken lines to show the crumbs. Add a tiny bit of hatching with very gentle push of the pen. Very short pen strokes, short and gentle. And now drying the seeds on the strawberry. Add a bit of hatching. So I'm using the same pen. So when, when I want to add some hatching, I push very gently. Okay, now I'm ready to draw the cup. Start with the opening. It's an ellipse and then the body, the handle, drawing the rim with long broken lines and then the liquid line inside, the rim of the, of the handle, add a bit of shading for the inside. bit of shading for the handle too, so it looks more three-dimensional. And now drawing the cartoon bunnies on the surface of my mug. They're really cute. Teacher bunny and three student bunnies being scolded in the classroom because they did something naughty.
and now adding some gentle hatching to suggest shade because the light source is coming from my right hand side. And um, okay, ready to start painting again. So always wetting the area first and adding the lightest color that I observe. Usually it's yellow and yellow ochre for a lot of things that I sketch. Second layer, add a medium yellow mixed with yellow ochre. And then brown. An even darker shade of brown and use tiny broken brush strokes to suggest the texture. And the coffee has around the same color. So just paint that at the same time. Now using magenta to paint the strawberry and leaving those tiny streaks of highlights because it's very shiny with syrup. Mix in a bit of purple into the magenta for the shade part of the strawberry so it looks more 3D. Add a bit of brown tone for the left hand side of the cake. Reflection from the strawberry. Adding a darker brown tone for the coffee. And keep painting the cartoons. There's a bit of red for those jackets. Add a little shade for the inside and outside of the mug. And finally, paint the shadows using the leftover gray that I mix with um, blue and purple. Finally, writing down the time and the note. And sometimes I like to add a little platform. And here is the look of my art journal spread. It's almost done. I think I'm going to do um, like a really mini landscape sketch by drawing a frame over here, a panorama. Today was a great day and now it's in the evening time. Before I start making dinner, I want to do a quick sketch. So I just have this little slot of space on the bottom of my art journal spread. And I decided to do a panorama sketch of the sky that I see. I'm going to focus on the sky area with the clouds around the bottom. So I'm only drawing a little bit of the uh, forest, just a tiny bit of the rooftops. So drawing very loosely of the uh, forest outline in the distance. Adding a bit of loose hatchings along the way. I think by adding those hatchings for the forest, that really gives a dense um, form for the trees. I'm also keeping the hatching pretty simple. Just keep all of the hatching lines in short vertical strokes. And now drawing this big maple tree in the foreground branches add some loose lines to suggest the leaves and now I'm ready to paint I'm gonna paint the sky first as always I like to paint the sky first when painting a landscape. So just wetting the cloud area very, very lightly with um, a layer of light yellow. And then the sky area with cerulean blue. Again, pretty light. 
the sky is a really translucent blue instead of a solid blue. using thin brush strokes to suggest the, uh, the folding layers of the clouds. And the sky is pretty much done. I'm not going to overwork on it because the clouds, they're clean, white, puffy, and I don't want to add too much shade on it. Now I'm adding the first layer for the forest and the trees. First layer was a mix of yellow ochre and green. Second layer is a viridian green blending in. And finally, painting the rooftops with yellow ochre and a bit of brown. And that's it. And here is my finished sketchbook spread. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like my video, please click like and leave me a comment about what you think about my process. And I will see you next time.